So May Mobility is a company that's focused on reimagining transportation. You consider yourself more of a transit company than an autonomous vehicle company. It's the business of providing service. It's the business of moving people. And autonomy is our killer feature to help us do that even better. Right now, we are standing outside our Bricktown parking garage on Bobian, uh, just north of Fort Street. And this is one of the two start and stop points for our May Mobility Autonomous Shuttle. We did have on this route a 25 passenger diesel vehicle, and there were a number of hours in the day where there's two or three people on the vehicle. It chews up a lot of curb space, and so we knew this was a route that we could address with a smaller footprint vehicle, and we were seeking to have something electric, and autonomous made it even better. One of the things, or one of the promised futures, that oftentimes centers on autonomous robo-taxis that can go anywhere, is that has that timeline, in your view, shortened at all? Um, no. I think the timeline of anything has gotten longer. In the last, since we, we last talked about this a year ago, you've seen more and more companies back off of these grand claims that they're going to have robo-taxis covering whole cities. You see more and more of them focusing either on single cities or single use cases, because it is, it's a really hard engineering challenge, and that's okay. Even with the subset of engineering challenge, there's still a lot of opportunity, and I think it's best that we as an industry focus how we think about this rollout on safety and how we can improve more people's transportation safely than just trying to go for robo-taxi and assuming that that's the best thing. Detroit does not have a deep and expansive public transit system. We have uh, all four seasons, different weather. Uh, the roads are not uh, always in perfect condition. And so it really lets us get a sense of what the vehicle can do and how it responds to uh, multiple arrays of circumstances. Do you envision continuing to focus on like the mid Midwest and East Coast, some of these areas that have more inclement weather, or do you foresee May Mobility moving out west at all? In the next year, our focus is definitely on states with strong regulatory environments and then fast growing cities within those states to make sure that there's a lot of opportunity. And so I can't tell you exactly which places, uh, but it, we're exploring other climates. Okay. Great. Thanks.